So we are now going to move on to our next stop, but before we do that, I strongly advise a photo dueling in front of the grave of Tom Riddle, because when else are you going to get that photo opportunity? My personal favourite is the overarm dueling position. So I'm going to wait just around the corner, take as many photos as you want, come and meet me when you are done, and we will move on together. Don't be embarrassed, it's a great photo. We're going to take a wee video of us doing... Oh, yeah, you're so Sirius Black written on that gravestone over there in Sharpie or some other kind of permanent marker. Sirius written a lot bigger than black, which leads me to question whether the person began to question their own decision of vandalizing a gravestone halfway through. We also have Scrimger in front of me on the grave here, as in Rufus Scrimger, the Minister for Magic. And behind me, we will also have Amos D written on a gravestone, the well known rap name of Amos Diggory. I'm joking, he wasn't a rapper, and if he was, I don't think he would be a good one. We're also going to pass by Moody on the way out, so I will say Moody on the left, and we can all look behind us and pass it down. Moody on the left, like in school, except for this time with Moody. So, uh, as you can see, just from this small area of the graveyard, we have so much Harry Potter inspiration that she's taken place, so it's pretty cool to be here now, experiencing that same magic. Now, our next stop is out in the Muggle world, which means that before we get there, we are going to be using the spell that I taught you at the beginning of the tour. Can anybody, for 20 house points, the stakes are high, remember the name of the spell? Very good, 20 points to Hufflepuff, amazing! That is right, it is Rossio Loomis. So I would like to have one final practice run with you guys now, just so I know that I can really trust you because we are literally trying to stop traffic with this. I would also like to point out at this point, how often is it that someone tells you wave around a wand and shout out to spell it public? Not that often. Let's make the most of it. Wands in the air, Ross Blue. Three. Ross you Blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he likes kids. Is he staring at that wee baby? Oh. I mean, it's not that. Don't kill that bit. Keep going. Uh, you okay? Oh. You're weird. <laughs> I know I am. Ross you Loomis. <laughs> oh yeah, the, our inside joke with Isaiah Dai. Isaiah Dai. Her name was Isaiah in the Harry Potter app game. Isaiah Dai. Why did you even choose that name? I don't remember. I didn't have a bag in my bag. Doing that. I caught you doing that. What? Do that. What do you think you're doing? Isaiah Dai. Oh yeah, you could do that. Disney little girl. No, it's like this. Oh wait. 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 <laughs> What's that? It's like, I don't know, something they do like one, two, three, I don't know. It's just, be, just be like, what's the Waverly Place when Selena Gomez done it? Hey, I'm Selena Gomez from Wizards of Waverly Place, and you're watching Disney Channel. Hello. Ah, thank you. Nice. Welcome to Disney. <laughs> I know what's You're having so much fun with wands. <laughs> and that's good. Why Philip? Ashley chopsticks. doesn't have a wand to give her away. Because I'm a nice person. <laughs> I kind of use chopsticks, they're really hard. Oh, oh yeah. I've tried <laughs> using chopsticks, they're so you don't hard. Know how to use. No, I'm, it's not hard. No, it's you know how to use chopsticks. Yeah, right? I mean, we're Asian, so we have to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're Asian, so yeah, we have to. But... Yeah, but I've oh, tried using them so many times. Right? Because that one is like especially for her. The second one. What was it? Hold on. What was it? Um, Ron said it's Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. She's a bloody mess and all that. It's like. I honestly don't know where we're going. We're still following the tour, I guess. I think we're going to that place that inspires uh, Diagon Alley in Harry Potter. So. so it's a beautiful day in Edinburgh. February is not raining. Yeah, I mean, after coming to Edinburgh, I didn't enjoy much, but like, yeah, now at least something is going on. <laughs> so. I wonder how they know the timing to like for 
across the world and start with wands. Yes. Ooh, secret. <laughs> Asti's like, what are you doing? She, she's okay, but they're like, ah! <laughs> they're like, ah, I don't really know. <laughs> it's just a one, Kelly. Ready to do this, guys? Of course. Well, you don't have your wand, so you're gonna be eating the dimensions. I can't wait to meet me, so she's got my wand. Okay. You guys ready to cast your spell? No. Your Patronus? No. Do you know your Patronus? No, me neither. No. I just thought they were going to Patronus would be a wand. Okay. A wolf. I have a wolf. But I'm the tallest. <laughs> it's a burst laughing. A wolf. Well, that is going to be my first tattoo, so. Ooh, I'm scared. Tattoo. <laughs> you can't have into one. come I can't believe you don't even know your own Patronus. Guess my one. Peanuts. Don't be mean. <laughs> Peanuts. Mm. Well, Mimi. I did. Oh, I heard Mimi. <laughs> no, she said, don't be mean. Oh, okay. I mean, the wee kid just went by and I see, heard like uh, me. I think, I think the kid called you me, me, me. Oh, she said me, me. <laughs> what is your Patronus? Do you know? No. Guess my my one. They haven't guessed it, but they said some kind of bird. I don't know. It's a colorful bird and flies really fast. Rainbow really bird. Small. Who's enough? A hummingbird. Uh, it's rainbow bird. <laughs> it's hummingbird. <laughs> oh my god, that's weird. Oh. And that is a lesson in always fight the dark arts when told. So at not our next stop, but the stop after that, we are going to stop at a place called the Elephant House Cafe, which some of you may have already seen, been in, drank coffee in, cried in. Now this is a coffee shop with a big sign in the window saying that it is the birthplace of Harry Potter but I am here to tell you that they are liars because the Elephant House was only opened a year after the first Harry Potter book was published. <gasps> so where then is the birthplace of Harry Potter? I hear you ask in unison. Where is the birthplace of Harry Potter? Well don't worry guys since you are so politely I am going to tell you. It is that place on the corner there called Spoon. Can you see the cream building with the spoon? Cafe became Spoon, which is another really nice cafe, and it's still very much the same inside now as what it was like when J.K. Rowling was writing there. It is big and spacious and open. It's got lots of big windows, lots of natural light, and it's a very relaxing and peaceful environment, so you can see why she enjoyed writing inside. Turn to the right. No fresh It's in public. Slide to the left. Fall over. Fall over. Everybody die.